Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 3 discussion video. Today for you guys, we're going to be sitting down and talking about leaks. No, do not get your pterodactyl in a twist. We're not going to be talking about leaks specifically, talking about information we perhaps shouldn't know about or bring up any spoilerish contents, but more so in this video, I thought we would just talk about leaks in general, as of course we are getting very close to the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, and especially when looking towards the Super Smash Bros situation where that entire game got leaked out onto the internet two weeks before the release. Um, it kind of made me think, well, you know, especially in January, those are going to be some pretty damn scary times, considering the fact that the Japanese version uh, not only comes out earlier than the English version, but that it's likely that some people will have Kingdom Hearts 3 in their hands before they're supposed to, and this can be very dangerous for many different reasons, but mainly people going into the files, uh, sharing many different things they perhaps shouldn't be, and just sharing stuff to do with the game before the game's official release. Least. This is an extremely big worry that I know a lot of people are on the edge about as of right now and especially when looking towards Kingdom Hearts 3, a game that is so story driven, we really don't want this experience to be ruined uh, for any of us in any sort of shape or form. I thought we'd talk a little bit about something that ended up happening last week. There was a forum post that was put up onto 4chan where this guy apparently spoiled a lot of the Kingdom Hearts 3 plot. Now, I have not seen these leaks whatsoever, I have only seen people basically talking about how there has been a new Kingdom Hearts 3 leak where someone's talking about plot details and basically ruining the whole game, uh, talking about the sort of ending sequence events and all of that kind of scary stuff. Now we've got no way to figure out whether or not the leak that was posted up onto 4chan is legitimate or not, but most of the time if you guys have been keeping an eye on everything that happens within the Kingdom Hearts community, most of the time when uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 leaks get posted onto these different forum sites, whether they be forum sites like 4chan, Reset Era, or Kingdom Hearts Reddit, uh, most of the time it's just someone making a list of different bullet pointed things and generally they are fake, it's just someone looking for a little bit of attention. But I feel as if in the time that we're currently in, where we are so very close to that of Kingdom Hearts 3, I would be very, very careful about just simply shunning something that someone has put onto a forum site as being false information, because at this stage, we really don't know. And especially with seeing all that stuff to do with Smash and how that got completely leaked before the game's release, I'm being very, very, very careful about where I tread on the internet, and especially when I do see something like new story leak spoilers revealed um, even if I know for the most part it's likely to be that that information is fake, I just don't want to look into it if in case on the slight off chance the information in which this leakster is supposedly posting turns out to actually be true. It brings me back to the Monsters Inc. leak that ended up happening towards the end of last year where a bunch of information files were actually dragged off an FTP server of Square Enix's. How exactly this person obtained these files and different set pieces of information about the game we don't know. Obviously there was some sort of insider in the industry, but uh, that was pretty damn unfortunate because a lot of the information that this person ended up revealing turned out to be 100% true, even as far as revealing screenshots of the Monsters Inc. world. Although these screenshots were initially uh, in development screenshots and that because of that a lot of us were sort of skeptical, for the most part these screenshots looked legitimate and in the end turned out to be legitimate. Of course it wasn't actually until the end of February of 2018 where Monsters Inc. finally got revealed, but thanks to those spoilers, it sort of ruins the whole experience of the Monsters Inc. reveal due to the fact that we already knew for the most part that Monsters Inc. was going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3 due to these leaks. So I think really ever since then specifically, ever since we really first got our real first ever Kingdom Hearts 3 leak, I've been very skeptical on looking towards even forum posts that are so-called claiming that they have inside information because who knows, at the end of the day, that information could actually be real. Now the supposed forum post that was put up onto 4chan was actually quickly removed, but I will let you guys know that apparently there is screenshots of the information that was posted on that forum post floating around the internet. So please do be careful, do be safe out there. Um, if, if you don't want to ruin the experience for yourself, then please don't go over to Google and start researching it to try find you know some of these screenshots because there is always a chance that the information that this person is posting could be legitimate now I have seen
seen a little bit of discussion surrounding this situation as uh, pretty much everyone took onto Twitter to raise their pitchforks and torches to try find this person that was trying to ruin and spoil the experience if of course the stuff was real but one of the things that I saw was that one person was claiming that the guy that ended up posting the original forum post onto 4chan was apparently a dude who has a reputation for posting uh, sort of fake stuff all over different forum sites whether it be forum sites like 4chan or of course reddit apparently throughout this year he's made multiple different posts claiming set certain things that clearly have not happened um, again though i don't really want to do too much research into the situation if in case uh, in the process itself i end up spoiling myself but yeah no twitter was absolutely blowing up when all of this information came out uh even flex seal decided to jump onto the to the bandwagon uh, to say you know if you need your leaks sealed up flex seal has you a good deal always need a bit of flex seal in your life, especially when you got these Kingdom Hearts 3 leaks potentially coming out of nowhere. Basically what I want to use this video for is to say, please do be careful around the internet in these final couple of months before the release of Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, games don't usually get leaked, but sometimes they do, and it really is unfortunate because essentially it ruins the hype and excitement for many people, but is also quite a big insult towards that of the, you know, creators of whatever game is potentially getting leaked. That, in our case, being Square Enix. Square have been working on Kingdom Hearts 3 for an extremely long time, and to potentially have information floating around the internet that spoils the game 100%, uh, explaining set certain different events that are going to happen in the game and even stuff to do with the ending of the game itself. It's pretty damn sad to see considering we've been waiting so long for this title. Be sure to only stick to the sources that you trust. Uh, be sure to also just stick to like verified sites. Uh, try stay off places like 4chan or Reset Era, as most of the time that's where things like leaks end up getting posted. I'm definitely anxious to see how January goes though. I think by the time we hit January, that's where leak season could really, really start to kick up, as I'm sure there will be a few people out there that will manage to get their hands on Kingdom Hearts 3 early. And how history has proven to us we can definitely see how uh, that sort of a situation can sometimes go extremely bad. Again, looking towards the whole Smash thing, it's very possible that a similar situation could happen for that of Kingdom Hearts 3. However, guys, that is all for today's video. In the comment section down below, guys, please do share your thoughts and opinions. Stay safe out there. Don't end up spoiling yourself. Stick to the sites you know and you trust. I'm Cynical. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit him on a page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dip my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.